going to keep it again. Shot dives in the end zone, and he's got the touchdown. If you're searching for a quarterback competition, look elsewhere. Head coach Joey McGuire and the Red Raiders announced in June that for the third straight season, Tyler Shuck will be the week one starting quarterback. It's no secret the Red Raiders thrive with a dual threat transfer from Oregon under center. In fact, Shuck's the perfect 8-0 in games that he started and finished. The problem? That's only happened eight times in two years. With Shuck missing time with a broken collarbone in 2021 and a shoulder injury last season. But if Shuck can stay on the field, there's a lot of reason to think the fifth-year senior can lead a veteran offense to meet its lofty goals. We've all been in this offense, so that, that standard is, you know, is even higher for everybody. So we got a lot of expectations. The standard's not just the Texas Bowl. We want to win the Big 12 championship. So, you know, that comes, we bring that to practice, bring that to meetings and walkthroughs every single day. So uh, it's been a lot of fun competing. But just because Shuck's locked in as a starter doesn't mean he's the only Red Raider quarterback you'll see this fall. And that's because Baron Morton isn't your everyday backup. The highest rated quarterback out of high school in program history the pride of Eastland, Texas, threw for over 1,000 yards and seven touchdowns in Shuck's absence last season, creating a good problem to have for Joey McGuire. You've got two guys that uh, I expect to develop and play on Sunday, and uh, they, they've played really well off of each other. Been happy with both of those guys. You know, I feel we can go out and, and um, you know, no matter who's in there, we're in really good position. But make no mistake, the reins of his offense belong to Tyler Shuck. Cole Banker, Red Raider Nation.